Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what the person that is on your mind when it comes to love is not telling you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right. So I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what this person is not telling you currently, we have the Ace of Cups, the Other, Forgiveness, we also have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups here. So when it comes to what this person is not telling you currently, there is someone else that they've been dealing with, okay? Now, for some of you, this is a new person, especially with the Ace of Cups being here. But for others of you, it may be someone else that they've already been connecting with. Regardless, the audacity here is that this person is wanting your forgiveness in regards to things that they've done to you in the past because they're in love with you. But... This person has started talking to someone else and that other person that they're talking to has developed feelings for this person. They may also like the way that the other person makes them feel, okay? Because I feel as though for a lot of you, you don't let this person off of the hook easily. Also with this page of Pentacles energy being here, I feel like... I feel like they're telling that other person what that person wants to hear. It's almost like they're charming them. But the other person is falling for this person that's on your mind. So, yeah. See, they've opened up to someone else. They may have even told that person that they're falling for them or that they have feelings for them. But it's all fake. This is someone that's playing the field, being very deceptive. So it's going to be very important for you guys to keep your guard up because someone is in some player energy. Someone is in player energy. And that's why I had to clarify this other card to see what this was about. And the Ace of Cups clarified it. So this is a newly formed relationship. Even if they're in a relationship with another person, but they're still trying to come at you. Okay. Even if that is the case, there is someone else. Okay. There's someone else. For some of you, there may be at least two other people besides you there may be two other people besides you even if they're already in a relationship with another person that you know about oh my goodness so yeah when it comes to this person there's someone that they are choosing in order to um stroke their ego this is a pick me type of person pick me pick me all right. They know that they're able to easily get their way with this new person or this other person that they've been dealing with. But I feel as though the other person knows the truth and they're paranoid. I also feel as though this other person that they've been dealing with has been walking on eggshells for some reason. They're trying to be very careful in regards to what they say to this person that's on your mind. So for some of you, the other person that they've gotten involved with, they know that there's something going on. They know that this person may have feelings for someone else, which is you, even if they don't know you personally. But this other person wants to be with the person that's on your mind so badly that they're just going through the suffering. They're looking past certain things. Look, see, this is literally energy of saying, hey, I choose you. That's what they're telling this other person. They're making it seem as though the two of them are going to move forward. All right. Some of you are going to find out this information. If this person has been withdrawing from you, if they've been coming off as though they're isolating themselves, that's why it's because there's someone else. But for some of you, you're going to find out about it. You're going to find out about this. This other person, I feel like they spy on this person. They've done their research and there's something that they know that they're not telling this person that they know. So like I said, whoever else they've started connecting with, that person is a pick me. They want to be with whoever is on your mind so badly that they'll accept less than they deserve. So yeah, just keep that in mind if this person comes back toward you because I'm telling you they want forgiveness. 
okay they do want forgiveness and for some of you they're going to pour out emotion but just keep in mind that there's someone else in the background so let's see what else comes out give me more messages please Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person what is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love what is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love two more shuffles so let's see what else comes out all right so at the bottom of the deck we have perfect match so for a lot of you this person they do see you as their perfect match and i do see them rushing back in toward you but look at this three's a crowd keep in mind that this person i'm telling you there's at least besides you there's at least two other people there's three people all together that this person is dealing with but they see you as their perfect match but it's almost like they have a plan b and a plan c just in case things don't work out with you oh my goodness give me more please holy spirit what is this person not telling my viewers currently look at this we have compromise so see what what i don't like about this compromise card is that if you look closely it looks like there's someone else in the shadow so we have a triangle here i'm telling you there's someone else that's in the picture there's three people um there are two besides you but all together there's three people that this person is connecting with but they don't want you to give up on the two of you making things work or reconnecting. But at the same time, they have all of these different plans in regards to if things don't work between the two of you. Give me more, please, Holy Spirit. What is this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? All right, so we have differences. So you are different from one of them used to dating. That came out in reverse right on top of the Ace of Cups. So I'm telling you, this other person that they're involved with, There's something very different about you because I feel as though you hold this person to a higher standard, okay? But this other person, they're the type that will put up with anything. I feel like this other person just lets this person that's on your mind get away with things. So the other person is easier to deal with. This is going to be revealed in due time. Like I said, someone gave this person a love offer. There's a love offer that was given to another person. So they don't see anything special about this other person because this card is about being different from what they're used to. It came out in reverse. So that means they don't see this other person as anyone special. I heard placeholder. So this is someone they may be using the past time. Anymore. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have change. And at the bottom of the deck, we have work in reverse. So for some of you, this person thinks that you've changed too much in order for things to work between the two of you. They feel as though you no longer want to put in the work. For some of you, this is Spirit's way of letting you know that this person hasn't put in any work to change themselves. So just keep in mind when they come to you wanting forgiveness, telling you that they can do better or that they're going to change their ways. Anything that they tell you, take it with a grain of salt, okay? Because this is someone that could potentially end up hurting you if you were to let them in. Give me one more card. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? All right, so we have commitment. So... And at the bottom of the deck, we have Secret Admirer. So for some of you, I'm telling you, they're in a relationship with another person. True love is at the bottom of the deck. So they still are attracted to you because they feel as though you are their true love. But at the same time, they've given a commitment to someone that admires them. So I feel like they're, it's almost giving me supply vibes, like narcissistic supply kind of vibes. I'm going to clarify a few of these. Give me more, please, Holy Spirit. Why is the other here for what this person is not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. 
So we have the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is someone that, this is who they've been focusing on. If you feel as though they haven't been putting a lot of attention on you or if they've been distracted, it's because they're sneaking around with someone else. But they're lying to that person. They're telling that person a lot of half-truths. Now, this isn't for everyone, but for some of you, this could be someone that they work with. But yeah, they're dating that person. Give me more about um, this Ace of Cups. Why is that here? Or what this person is not telling my viewers currently. So look, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups plus the Ace of Cups equals the Five of Cups. So this isn't someone that they really even want. They feel as though they're settling with this other person. And even though they've extended a love offer to this other person, they're not really interested in them. And that's kind of messed up because I feel like this other person has developed feelings based off of what this person has been telling them. But they don't even know that this person really doesn't want anything to do with them. They're using them as a way to waste time. So that may be why the other person is also paranoid or why they feel as though something's not quite right. Or why they're researching or um, spying on this person. Because they feel as though this person's closed off to them. Hmm. Give me more. Why is compromise here? Why is that here? Thank you. So we have the Six of Wands. And that came out crossing. So I feel like they may be trying to use this other person to get your attention. They may also like that that person gives them compliments or um, thinks very highly of them for some reason. I feel like that person puts them on a pedestal even though they don't deserve to be on one. Give me more. Why is differences here in reverse? Why is that here? Look, the Ten of Swords. So they don't see themselves being with that person long term. I feel as though they're going to start sabotaging the connection to get themselves out of it. This is someone they're going to use and dispose. Mm, 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 mm. Why is um, change here? Why is that here for what this person is not telling my viewers currently? Okay, so we have the Empress. They feel like you've outgrown them. They also feel as though your appearance has, has changed in some way, shape, or form. Like, they feel like you look even better. They're more attracted to you. They may also be work, working on their own appearance, trying to appear more attractive. Hmm. The Four of Swords came out right on top of the commitment card. So I'm trying to tell you, they have given this other person a commitment. In this other person's mind, they feel as though they're together. But this person, they're not going to put in any work to make this a successful connection with them and this other person because that's not who they truly want to be with they're just comfortable with this other person and for some of you they could even be using them for money or for stability in some way they see this other person as a doormat give me one more card why is um rushing in here why is that here too many why is rushing in here for this person all right, so we have the Four of Pentacles and that came out crossing. So when they come in toward you, they're going to be holding back some information. Also, this person is not very stable. So be careful about spending time alone with them. But they're not going to be telling you everything. Also, um, this person likes to rush back in whenever they think that you are about to release them. If you haven't released them already. And for some of you, they're going to come rushing in in hopes that you haven't completely released them. They may want to see if you are still willing to try and work on things with them. Someone likes to rush in to um, keep you from completely letting go. But some of you already have. Someone wants to hold you back from meeting your perfect match. This is a mess. 
I'm going to get one more card. I'm going to see what this person's true feelings is for this other person that they've been dealing with. Um, Holy Spirit, what is this person that is on my viewer's mind when it comes to love? What is that person's true feelings for this other person that they've been dealing with with the Ace of Cups? What is that person's true feelings for this other lover that they've been dealing with? How do they truly feel about that person? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Not in reverse, but crossing. So... And the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they see them more or they would like them more as a friend. Also, they have had a rocky past with that person. So this is someone that they've extended a new love offer to, but they may have dealt with this person before. And if this person is a narcissist, you know, narcissists like to go back to the past. They like to do that. They like to keep supply laying around or, you know, in the background. So, yeah, they see them more as a friend. Like, they'd rather have them as a friend. I do feel like they have a bond with this person. But they don't really want to be with this person long term. Like I said, it's like a placeholder type of energy. All right, so that's the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.